Hello, I'm Claude, and today's video is about Intel 12th Gen uh, DDR5 uh, problems and the support on the uh, to use four slots uh, DIMMs uh, with the, um, for example, the my example Z690E uh, Asus Gaming uh, motherboard. So there are two things I'm going to address, and the one I'm going to show you directly in this video is how to be able to synchronize your RGB lights on your memory, um, you know, uh, units, and to be able to synchronize that with, in my case, Asus uh, Armory Crate or Aura. All right, so I'm going to show you how to synchronize that. There's a lot of problems with the memory, and then the the the, the, the least problem you want to have is to not be able to. Uh, synchronize them with your motherboard. If you wish to synchronize through the motherboard's uh, RGB uh, controller, which is Armory Crate in the case of Asus. Uh, first thing I'm gonna talk about is having, uh, you're gonna buy a motherboard and the motherboard has a uh, four slots. I'm gonna talk about the compatibility of DDR5 right now. And then the big issue here is that you're gonna buy a motherboard, like in my case, uh, the Rode the 690, all right? And you've got four slots uh, you know, for the DIMMs, all right? With DDR4, DDR4, it was so easy uh, with the XMP profiles, you never really had to go into the QVL list from the motherboard uh, to see what RAM you could use, if you could use two sticks or four sticks. It was never a question. With DDR5, it is a big issue. Because of the speeds, it's incompatible, uh, you know, with most motherboards. So what you need to know is that on the Intel, uh, you know, 12th generation, if you're gonna buy four sticks, you need to know right now, you want to populate the four sticks, you will not be able to use the XMP profiles. In my case, for example, uh, I have purchased, I wanted to populate, I did, I did the mistake myself, so I'm speaking from experience, I bought two kits, all right? Two kits of uh, 32 gigs for a total of 64 gigs with four sticks. Uh, and I was not able to use the XMP profile, all right? So if you have four sticks, it will not post, and what you're gonna have to do is, it, if it's going to pose, the only way to pose is to leave everything by default, not to activate XMP in your profiles. If you have XMP in the profile with four sticks, it's just gonna uh, not gonna post. It's gonna boot loop and all of this. You can try to do XMP. I try to play with the voltages, memory controller, and, and the frequency, you know, voltages and all of that. Uh, and it's still gonna be iffy and not stable. I was able to get my memory. My memory is at 5600 hertz. Uh, megahertz, and uh, I was able to get it at 5600, but uh, it was not stable with the four sticks, all right? So from the get-go, if you want, for example, the capacity 64 gigs, just do two times, uh, one set, a, a kit of, uh, you know, two times 32, all right? Uh, don't, or else you will not, if you have just one kit on one channel, all right, A, B, you know, two, like you're supposed to do initially, uh, that's gonna work, if you have two, Dims, uh, that's gonna work. If you have four, it's not gonna work. So, all right. So, need, needed to be to know that I populated my uh, my own computer, as you will see. I'm gonna show you right now, um, right there. This is on my computer, my install with the Dominator uh, Platinum RGB. Uh, it is right now. The four slots are currently working at um, at 4,000 megahertz. All right. So that is what I was able to do. Just leave it by default. Do not activate uh, XMP, and this is uh, is going to be able to work at uh, 4,000 uh, megahertz as it's uh, supposed to do. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to switch to my monitor, and I'm going to show you how to uh, to be able to see if it's at what speed it's working. So I'm just going to go into the taskbar on another monitor. I've got four monitors here, but right click on the taskbar and do the task manager and I'm gonna bring the task manager on that screen here, right? So you right click in the task board, mine is full here. So, and then you can get the task manager and then you go into the uh, performance memory here. And then you can see here, I've got four of four, I've got uh, 64 gigs of RAM uh, at 4,000 megahertz, which is the uh, the default. There's no XMP profile, all right? Uh, so now let's go to uh, how do, do you do um, to be able to synchronize, as you can see, uh, if I bring this camera back uh, on deck, uh, you can see that my uh, all of my uh, uh, my memory is also syncing uh, with uh, my RGB. So I'm going to try to see if I can just lower this here, and I will bring my main monitor in, in the front here, 
and put that over here. There you go. All right. So I'm going to show you um, how to be with Armory Crate, and you can see the result there. Uh, I'm going to bring Armory Crate on my screen, and I'll show you that I'm able to synchronize. So you can see here, I've got the memory being recognized here, and this is in the BIOS, so you're going to have to change the setting, the SPD setting in BIOS. Uh, so I'm going to show you Aura Effect. Uh, I can have the breathing going on, the memory is working just fine. Uh, you can have the strobing, it's going to be working fine. Uh, color cycle, it's working just fine. As you can see, it's just working fine. Uh, rainbow, a lot of people don't like rainbow. I don't like it, I don't care. Uh, you know, this is, um, that's my favorite effect right there. Uh, so I'm still going to go back static with that color. This is what lights up the case uh, better. So as you can see, it's working. I'm just proving to you just working and it is recognizing the memory. Uh, very often, if you go that, your motherboard will not recognize the memory once you install your uh, your RAM. Uh, so what I'm going to go back and I'm going to put the footage with my phone and I will continue uh, on the other side in BIOS. Let's restart that baby. Let's reboot that and go into BIOS. And we can go change uh, some SPD settings. And you can see as the minute that you reboot, you, the, the RAM is not, you know, synchronizing. You can see it's doing weird stuff there. So it's, uh, so let's go back into the settings, into the bias. I think I might have lost it. Did I, did I? No, I'm going into bias. There you go. All right, so we're going to go into the um, SPD setting. So there's two ways you can do it. You can go with the mouse and go search. All right, and then you're going to enter SPD, enter, uh, and it's the SPD right disable. Uh, it needs to be in, in false. I have it at false, that's why it's working. If I have it true, it's not going to work. So you need to make sure it's at, at false, all right? Uh, and the, another way you can go here is that you go in with Asus motherboard, you can go in AI Tweaker, and then you're going to go into Tweaker's Paradise. There you go, right there. And this is where the setting is right here at this right SPD right disable. Uh, it's at false. If you have it at true, which is the default is true, uh, if you have it at a true, uh, then it's not it's gonna it's not gonna be synchronizing with your motherboard. All right. So if you want it to synchronize with motherboard, it needs to be at false. After that, F10, save setting. I didn't change nothing. Save and reload, and there you go. That's all there is to it. All right. All right. It is synchronized. So now let me go back to Armory Crate. All right. So it's it's seeing it now. It's seeing it. And then let's do Starry Night. You see, now it's Starry Night. So it's working just fine. All right. So this is what you need to do. So um, there you go. That was this video for the DR, DDR5 Nightmares. I had my fair share of nightmares to be able to at least synchronize it uh, and try to do the, uh, to get the four DIMMs to work. I, I spent five hours plus, And then I realized, uh, you know, uh, to be able to use XMP profile uh, it, at, with four slots, never going to work. So do two slots if you want the capacity. Do uh, only two sticks at six, two times 32 to, if you want to have 64, for example. And now you know how to synchronize with your motherboard if you wish to do that. A lot of people will synchronize with Corsair I, I, ICU or, or, or IQ, whatever it's called. Uh, me, I prefer to control that through the motherboard. So this is the, uh, the tricks of the trade. All right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.